Now we begin working with the polycarbonate. The polycarbonate will have two films. One side with letters on it and the other side with the gray film. The side that has letters on it, that's the UV protected side. So it's always very important to make sure you know which side is which. When we start removing the film, we always leave it kind of in the middle of the polycarbonate until we start to actually work with it. All the open channels need to be covered with tape. Okay? And you will see us do that throughout the installation. Okay, now we'll jump into the side poly and we'll prepare it for installation. Line up the right side of the polycarbonate panel. You can position it over the hinges, make sure that it's centered top, bottom, and you have no gaps at either end. And then mark the tops and bottoms of all the hinges with a marker. Measure out the cuts for the notches. Uh, pro tip, the width of the notch cutout is five channels. Mark it down, take an exacto knife and cut them out. Position the panels on the side and give them a little push. Remove the film and seal the bottom edge. Secure the polycarbonate along 9-1, 4-T and 8-1. The outside edge will leave for later. For this step we're using the self-tapping screw. There's no need to over tighten the screws, make sure you don't bend in the polycarbonate. If you've gone a little too far, you can always reverse back. If you find that you have a little bit of polycarbonate sticking out, just trim it with an X-Acto knife by following the frame of the greenhouse and seal the channel. Now secure the last part of the polycarbonate to the frame 
at the position that is right along the door. You don't need to put anything. In this hole, we'll later on install the hook. Now tape the channels for the window. Position the polycarbonate so it's centered vertically over the pieces and flash with the polycarbonate on the right hand side. Center the middle hole of the metal lighting on the right hand side with the pinhole on the window frame and secure it in place. Drive the other two self-tapping screws in. There's no pinholes for them. Just go through the metal. Secure the top and the bottom metal lighting. Flash with the right side. side open for the installation of the hook. Line up the left part of the metal lining with the top and bottom and secure it with two screws top and bottom. The holes in the middle are all for the door handle. Now seal the channels on the door panel. I'm going to open the window and center the piece of uh, polycarbonate so that it's flush with the polycarbonate on the right hand side and flush with the top of the door frame. Secure the polycarbonate to the door frame with self tapping screws, five on the top, five on the bottom. Use two more screws to secure the middle. Install the metal linings on the right and left hand side. Start with the two on the right and the one on the bottom on the left. The door does not have metal linings on the top and bottom.
top left piece, leave the door handles holes untouched. Now on to the left side. Remove the protective film and seal the bottom channels. Line up the polycarbonate along the door opening and the top and bottom. And secure in place using the bottom, right side and the middle portion. Check if any trimming is required on the outside. Seal the channels. Once you're done, secure the outer side. Seal the top piece on the side, line it up flush with the piece number 10 and secure in place. Trim any excess you have. Now the front part is complete, repeat it one more time for the back side. 